Welcome back to part two of my cozy cottagecore village plaza build in Disney Dreamlight Valley. Today we are going to finish the gazebo courtyard of our village. But I'm going to start off by changing my outfit into something cute and summery to match the aesthetic of this build. And I'm going for more of like a yellow, green, brown type of a look for this. The outfit is coming along nicely. You always have to look cute while you're decorating. If you love showing off your outfits, consider joining our cozy Discord. It's in the description down below. I posted the link there. We have a completely separate channel for posting your outfit of the day for Disney Dreamlight Valley. We are going to begin by playing around with tree placement and we'll just play around with the different elements until we get an idea of like what we will want for this area. And I did decide to choose the small hedge to separate the village from the courtyard. I was initially thinking that we could put some of the plaza trees in this courtyard build, but then I decided against it. I didn't really want them in the middle centered like that, so we'll do something else instead. I am really liking the look of the birch trees for this build, but I will put them in later because I want to get the main part of our build finished first. And I think they're going to kind of be in the way if I put them in too soon here. I'm going to be making small adjustments to the path from the centerfold to our courtyard here.
And I did want to place down a sign for the meadow, so we will place that to the right of our gazebo. I'm just placing different items down that I think would match the aesthetic and we can play with them after. We can always remove which ones that do not work for us. Next, I decided to add the trellis items to give this courtyard a garden core feel. Instead of placing the plaza trees and the empty spaces of grass on both sides of the gazebo, I was thinking putting a table with like floral elements on it. And I really, really like the orchids on top of these brown octagonal tables. I think they look so cute. And then we can kind of line the path with some of the candles. I love the look of the melted candles. It's like so romantic. My game was being a little bit buggy because uh, the orchids were not staying on the tables, but we'll fix that later. But I do want to add in Fairy Godmother's Bench to the middle of the gazebo. I think that would be so cute, a really pretty sitting area for our little cozy village. The back part of the gazebo looks a little bit empty, so I do plan on lining it with different birch bushes and maybe some floral bushes as well. Mm -hmm. 
I will also add in some meadow grass. I love the look of the meadow grass with this build. I love the yellow flowers on the gazebo, so yellow, green, brown. That's kind of our color palette for today. just here I'm kind of just experimenting with different items to see what would look good. I do enjoy Mrs. Potts being in this build. Like what a cute area to sit down and have some tea. I love it. So now we're just gonna finish the back of the build and play with the birch bushes and see what looks best for us. Now we are ready to add in more tree elements since the main part of the build is complete. I'm going to save and then I am going to drop the flower elements next. Still having issues with the orchids, but I do end up like quitting out the game and saving and fixing that later. So we're gonna try different types of flower placement now to see what we like. And I am going to add florals to the transition path to the Sunlit Plateau as well. I did decide that I didn't really like the sunflowers. I just kind of liked the yellow bunches of flowers from the Forgotten Lands. I forget what they're called, um, but I only wanted to incorporate those into this build because they really matched the flowers on the gazebo quite well. And I felt like the sunflowers were a different yellow and it just kind of clashed with everything.
So since we took out the sunflowers, I decided to run back to my storage and grab more of the yellow bunches of flowers. I think they're, are they impatience? No, not impatience. Um, I forget their name. I can't think of it. Let me know in the comments what they are. I'm sure I'll remember later. But we do need to place down more of these along our gazebo. And then also I would like to place them to the right by the path um, and just kind of sporadically spread them out. Okay, it's looking good. I think it's now time to run through our build and kind of get a feel for how it came out. I am looking at the different angles here. I really like this angle right here where you can kind of see our village through the gazebo. It's so cute. I will run through the build now, the full build, now that part one and part two is complete. And I'll also show you what it looks like at nighttime too, so stick around. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you all. If you did enjoy your time with me today and you haven't subscribed yet, please consider hitting that sub button to help my channel grow. I also appreciate likes and comments as it helps push my video out into the YouTube algorithm so that others can also enjoy. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you all next time.